How's it going everybody, Gamer Wayne? It's been a crazy weekend. I went to MoCon, hit a bunch of game stores up, and I picked up my World of Nintendo cabinet. So let's jump right into the video. I ain't got a booger or nothing, do I? I, I don't know. Stick it under there, the camera under there, and we'll find out. It is very tight. I think it's a poor time just to walk around it, right? I need metal marines too. Dracula X, Jack. Hey, Oscar. Here you go. 1074. Metal Warriors. Yeah, and I need, uh, I do need New Horizons too, I need Biometal. There's several of these I need. Swat Cats. I had plans to get a bunch of footage from the convention, but as you can see, it's incredibly overcrowded. It was so bad I didn't see more than half the booths, and we only stayed for about an hour and a half. Oh, Extratainment Speed Racer, I wonder how much that is. Ninja, Commander, oh, that's an AES. Yeah, I wonder how much the Extratainment is. That's that expensive one. Yeah, and it's in the box, so it's probably like six or seven, probably four here. Excuse me. Oh, I got that stack right there. I had to go get cash, yeah. 465. Um, yeah, if you We shouldn't have named it Mo Game Con. We should have named it No Leg Rom. <laughs> <laughs> Since we left the game convention early, we had time to go to some game stores on our way to Ohio to pick up the World of Nintendo cabinet. And the first store we go to is called Grumpy Bob's. The first thing I'll say about Grumpy Bob's is they have an amazing selection and amazing prices as well. At least on the sticker price. You'll see in a minute I had a huge stack of games and I was about to spend more than a thousand in the store. But they look up eBay prices or something at the register and try to raise the price as you're paying. So there were some games that had an $80 price sticker on them, and they changed it at the register to $150. I ended up leaving the store with nothing. You have a lot of great prices, but then that one's like way high. I'm gonna buy a bunch here, so. Sure. And there's gonna be a bunch of um, loose ones that I'm wanting. Yeah, if you could uh, double check the price on that, I'd be around 200 on that one. Looks like Fire Dogs is, is uh, still 300. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Our website's all got all of our up to date pricing and uh, all that good stuff. All right, so it's been a crazy trip so far. Uh, we got the cabinet. I don't know if you can see behind me. We have the trailer back there. The World of Nintendo cabinets in there. Um, got a lot of cool things on the trip so far. But one of the coolest things I didn't even pick up. Check this out. Hey, so here's the Extratainment Mountain Bike Rally Speed Racer Combo. Usually you either find this game either sealed or loose, which both are, which are really expensive. Whoever opened this one basically just left half of the, the wrap on. It's really good. There's a little spot there, but besides that, it's really nice all around. How much was that again? All, all in all, with the deal, it was 5800 We worked out a little deal. All right. Oh, it's so minty. Minty. Now I just need to get the bike so I can get my pedal on. <laughs> yeah, I guess this one didn't come with the, the protective sleeve on it. With a little dust cover, I guess it didn't come with it. You whoa guy. That's what my credit card is saying right now, saying whoa. <laughs> so I've got a mixed bag of common, uncommon stuff. Uh, so I'm going for the complete loose-ish set. Uh, uh, Super Nintendo Wayne's going for the, the complete box set. So if there's a game I don't have, I find it in a good shape, good price, I'll go ahead and get it. So Pro Sport Hockey, World Cup Soccer, World Heroes 2, I finally knocked that one off. Revolution X, and that was one that took me a while to find a decent copy of it. Stanley Cup, like one of the most common games you find, and I, for some reason, just now picked it up for some reason. How many games are you up to? Uh, it's, it's over 600. I'm not, I have over to, 600, yeah. just getting Stanley Cup. Yeah, after I, I don't crazy. put them into my database until I go home and clean them and test them. So until then, I don't, I don't put them in there yet. Nintendo Rage. 
Utopia. This was a hard one to find in somewhat decent shape, with Tetris Dr. Mario. They're all jacked up for some reason. GP1, or it's actually GP1-2, part two. Hiya! Three ninjas. Hiya. I still need that complete, man. That's a tough one. Rocky, look. College slam. Slam if you want to jam. I can ride bikes and wave race. Boom. This is just a, I got it from Clean Back. It was a free game. Lock on. GP1, part one. Brandish. Prodlers. That's another one in games that I thought I had in my collection, and sometimes I probably pass it up because I thought I already had it. I have that one complete. Realm? Realm? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. What you doing Realm? It looks cool. I don't even recognize the name, to be honest with you. That's what I do with a lot of these games. I don't look at videos of gameplay. I just I play them. Mad uh, Mighty Max. That was kind of a tough one to find in good shape. Boom, take my Super Bowl. No, I'm just kidding. Figure this hard. <laughs> That's a hard one to find. I think it's literally like, I guess it's an RPG where you uh, just go around playing Techno Wolf. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. And that's one I've hardly ever come across. Uh, I got that complete in box locally in Arkansas. Yeah, back, back in Arkansas, I hardly ever come across that. I'll come across the NHLs, but not that one. Demolition Man. That's another one that's, that's kind of tough to come across. I need to put a better back on it. Vinyl Metal. That's a... It's an expensive, well, it's expensive complete box. Yeah, at pulling pole position. Miracle so, piano. And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't plan on getting the piano for it because uh, it's such a beautiful instrument. Dark. Dark New Horizon. Yep. Uncharted, Uncharted Waters. Uncharted Waters. Yep. Dark Waters. I guess it could be Dark Waters. I actually got a good deal at this one. Despite uh, other, other things going on, I actually got that one for a good deal. Yeah. Os Oscar. He did not pay 174. Yeah, I covered the price for, for him. I, I, yeah, I didn't pay these prices on it. The Metal Marines. Awesome. Yeah, that yeah. one I got complete too. That's yeah, awesome. So my main thing is like today is. Uh, I'd like to get international superstar soccer and uh, Captain Commando. If, yep. if willing, we'll see. And I need those games as well. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they got something he needs extra, good in he needs here. Extra sauce. He needs the sauce yeah. with it. Yep. So we'll see what we find. Hopefully, there's some cool stuff in this IDS gaming place. World the Nintendo cabinet. There's the bottom over there. Yeah. Got it. Don't be late for work. It annoys people. <laughs> it's gone. Somebody bought it. It was right here in this case. Yep. Yeah, just, yep. It was right here. So I was actually in the store a few weeks prior to this when I went to Connecticut to get my Super Nintendo kiosk and they had a really minty complete in box Earthbound and I wanted to buy it and get it on video but unfortunately it was gone when I returned for it. It had sold the week prior so I ended up getting nothing in this store. Next up is Game Exchange in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, I'm recording myself. <laughs> I end up getting Indiana Jones at Game Exchange and we go four minutes down the road to a store called Through the Decades. Blaster Master. Twin two. Wii U kiosk. Everyone has a nice train light and everything. 
Okay. Oh, it has a screen too. Oh man, that's nice. I wonder if they would sell that. I mean, they're just chilling here. So. Oh, look at all these games just tossed all over the floor. This is wild. They look an Atari game up under there. <laughs> that's crazy. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. 300 bucks. That's insane, dude. Oh, look. Power Rangers Fighting Edition. I need it. Evo. Evo. 700 bucks. But that $100 fighting edition. This is the coolest cover ever. World Thunder 3. Fighting off a cyber dog with your motorcycle. Shoot them. Killing it. Nobody. Worms Armageddon up in there. Pocky and Rocky. Soul Blazer. I got some. Go this. This is crazy. Hey man. OG. First. That's what I got back in the day. This is cool, dude. That's a high quality box right there. <laughs> that is, oh man. Oh, Thunder Spirit? I didn't see these ones. I, I think I need. No, I have a raw. Final fight There's back there. Good Genesis selection. Look, there's a whole stack of manuals right there. Atari. You don't see Battletoads Double Dragon. Look at that label too. Battle That's Dream clean. Battle Arkanoid Do It Again. I never uh, seen that one loose out that much. Yep, I don't have Battle Dream 3. There's a little, a little price. Cool spot. Oh, that's a. You just don't see some of these games out, man. Super Adventure Island just chilling there with a the great label. I wonder if it's $20, $25 with the manual. I know you can get it though. Is that it? Is there already prices on the manuals? I didn't see. Pit Fighter! It's mine. You got it? Yep, I can't see the price on it. Oh, it's 22 from the side. Dude, that's one you never see. Defenders of Dynatron City. Yeah. That one's really hard to come by. 150 is actually a pretty decent price for it. Last year. What, is that like part of the uh, Eye of Beholder? You know, like a, a... Oh, I think you're right. You know the one for Super Nintendo that I'm talking about? Yeah. I wonder if that's like a sequel to that or something. And they got some cool consoles back there. Days of Play, PS4. There's a Spider-Man PS4 Pro up there. If you spent time, dude, with the way it's so unorganized here, you know they don't be repricing this stuff. Oh, it's a U-Force, dude. Oh, sweet, it is. That's wild. In the Sega, uh, like, I still like the OGs. Still in Louisville. More gems. I haven't seen that one. War of the Gems? That's a clean looking War of the Gems. I need War of the Gems and Final Fight Guy, but I don't know how hard it's going to be to find the boxes and manuals by themselves, so I end up passing. For the next game, Exchange in Elizabethtown. What's this one? Super... Super Bomberman. You got that? Yeah, my, my friend took me up with that one. Yeah, The Great Escape was the final store of our trip, and I didn't find anything here that I needed. All right, so let's check out the pickups I got on the trip. First up is my World of Nintendo cabinet. I've already started cleaning it up a bit. It wasn't in this nice of shape when I got it. There was tape holding on the World of Nintendo sign. I got that fixed up. Um, there was also like all this glue behind the sign, so the sign looked really blotchy and dirty. But I got it all cleaned up. I still need to add glass to the front of the cabinet. Um, this one had it taken out, but I will eventually add that. I did add shelves to it. Now these are wood shelves here, but I'm going to change them to glass when I get a chance. I just uh, cut up some wood to put in there um, just to make the cabinet functional until I could get some glass shelves.
And down below here, I'm gonna get the Nintendo logo that goes on the bottom. Kinda like it looks over there. It's gonna look that way right here. This thing is really awesome. I got it for a really good deal. I'm really happy to have it. I just can't wait to get all the glass put in it. One of my favorite pickups on the trip was the Super Bomberman party pack scene here. And Brian actually worked this into the Speed Racer mountain bike deal. And he ended up giving it to me for gas, so I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Brian. And all my other pickups were a bunch of Super Nintendo games. I got some loose games to put in boxes that I already had. And then I got some complete in box games as well. And for boxes I've already had, I got Pit Fighter, Home Alone, Beethoven, that was my first pickup of the trip, Rocky Rodin, and Pro Sport Hockey. This set of complete in box games here was my first stop at MoCon, the first booth I went to. And these are all in excellent condition. I got this whole stack for $4.65. He was trying to tell me $5.20, but I negotiated down to $4.65. And these games are Arcana, Beavis and Butthead, Paladin's Quest, Raiden Trad, Super Smash TV. This one still has a cellophane on it. And Wizardry 5. These next three were at a booth right by the exit because I was getting ready to leave because of how crowded it was. I got Super Metroid, Nosferatu, and Prehistoric Man. These next four came from a store called Disc Replay, I believe. Two of them are missing manuals and two of them are faded really bad. But the prices were so much cheaper than what they normally go for. I figured they'd be good placeholders and until I could get an upgrade. And the first one up missing the manual is Rama 1-2 Battle. Rama? Yeah, we'll go with that. Super Star Wars also missing the manual. Frank Thomas Big Hurt. Now this is really faded, but it is complete in box, so I'll eventually get a box upgrade. And the last one I got from there is Kyle Petty's No Fear Racing. Also really faded, but also complete in box. Up next is Indiana Jones Complete in Box. I found this at a game exchange in Kentucky. I forget where in Kentucky. Uh, maybe I already said it in the video. But this was the strangest game exchange I had ever been to. They told me they had to take my wallet, my keys, and my cell phone for me to be able to hold this game. I said, and? I figured they would need maybe my car keys or maybe my ID. No, they had to hold my wallet, my keys, and my cell phone. I guess they said they had problems with people coming in there and giving them fake phones and then taking off with games or something. So I had to give all three items just to be able to hold this game. And that is one of the weirdest things I've ever encountered in a game exchange. And last but not least is a game called WWF Raw. I found this at a game store called Through the Decades. I really enjoyed that store. It was really neat. They had a lot of cool stuff, but it didn't seem like they took care of the game section so well. There was all that stuff all over the floor and the kiosks, they weren't hooked up, but they weren't for sale. It's like, what are you doing with them? I don't know. But it was a pretty neat store uh, nonetheless. And I think this was the last pickup I got on the trip. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I'll be bringing you more videos like this. Also, make sure to leave a thumbs up for the World of Nintendo cabinet. Until next time, I'm Gamer Wayne and thanks for watching.